good day, Crazy Yet, uncharacteristically cooperative convicts. I'm on Silent and we're on the air with more StarCraft II co-op. Back again, doing a little co-op. By the way, there's the war chest on right now. Which uh, I picked up and I got all my XP solely by watching Twitch streams. So you can, well, allegedly anyway. See, so says rewards unlocked, but it's not showing it, so, eh, whatever. But you can get uh, a whole bunch of unit of uh, skins out of this. I'm not advertising. I don't get any money from it, so I don't care. But you're going to see a few of these because we're going back to Terran Co-op Command. I think I've activated all those on my account. So we're going back to Terran Co-op Command. I already recorded this video or tried to record. Well, I did record this once, just the, uh, the audio didn't work. Apparently, blizzards uh, they've got in the settings here. The voice chat, the voice chat uh, volume here is default to 100 and supersedes any of my window settings, so uh, I've got to set it 6. Imagine this at 100%. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no. So I'm keeping my, I've now I've got my, uh, my uh, the screen that I usually use for monitoring the video now is split down the middle so I can see both the audio and the video at the same time. So there's a little insider baseball. Last time out we played Han and Horner, well... We played Mirahan. It was correctly pointed out in the comments that I didn't really play Matt Horner, and we will correct that at some point in time. Perhaps when we play a little bit of Nova. We haven't played Nova yet. I did play Jiminy Rainer. The first time I recorded this video, it actually was fun, because I played a little bit of Tychus Finley and a little bit of Rory Swan. Uh, Tychus was fun just because uh, I was playing with a Dahaka. Uh, who uh, the video is recorded the audio is gone, so I'd have to post comment if you guys want to see it the lost episode of Starcraft 2 Call. But my Dahaka uh, Was quite insistent upon playing just as Dahaka. I didn't realize he could create a, you could create other units as Dahaka, right? Which one's Dahaka this one? Look at all these units you could create as Dahaka. He was a level 3 Dahaka So he would have had Zergling, Ravisaur, Roach, Hydra uh, swarm host and ultra and proceeded to um, use none of them he barely used drones oh he used the primal worm he used the worm rather than that no so I'm so Tychus you can run around with three other Tychus and three other of these mercenaries uh, you've got crooked Sam who's against individual targets I think he's a Reaper and you got miles blaze Lewis who you might also know from heroes of the storm uh, he is, uh, he's sort of fire bat, so we can do it with large units. Nux, I believe he is a Spectre, which is a sort of SE2 campaign version of Ghost. Uh, so he can, he has an AoE attack, so he's good against units, uh, groups of units. And uh, Lieutenant Lena Nakara, who is a medic. So that's your choices. I went with uh, these three, Blaze, Nux, and Nakara. But uh, imagine taking four people and running around and covering an entire map with three entrance points that you're trying to defend by yourself. It was absolutely insane. But uh, we've got, uh, but with that, we upgrade to more merrier. So now we can, we can play as all of them. Since I can't unlock any of these new guys to four, six, eight, and ten. And only one of these, uh, Rattlesnake, you can get for free, play until level five. So, yeah. We're going to play a little Tychus and then we're going to play a little Swan. Which I leveled up to, to level 3. I don't know. He's got a laser drill. I didn't realize that the laser drill could be upgraded last time. So this will go a little better this time, hopefully. But, um, Bales, SCVs, and Starships, and vehicles 20% faster than other commanders. And building factories doesn't require Vespine because he doesn't have barracks. That's important. And he can... Oh, now I can drop four Ares Warbots with a uh, combat drop from the top panel. And I've got some upgrades to my turrets. Almost static D. So that's what I got going for me this time. So we're going to have a little fun with this. We're going to start off with a little bit of Tychus. This is a fun one. I'll try and talk you through as best I can. He is one of the newer co-op commanders. He released this past, or I guess last summer. Now. Last summer was, I think he came out around Gamescom. Just after Gamescom. So, we'll see how this goes. As we... Ready up, load in, and who's the poor sucker that gets to see how well I can do on my second go? This, I bet you I had a bunch of beginner's luck the first time with Tigus. We'll see how this goes as we pair up with... Oh, we pair up with a level 1 swan. Malwarfare. 
Don't let Orana's transport die. Protect Orana as she purifies the security terminals. I do not know this mission. I am unfamiliar with this mission. So we're going to see how this goes. My concern is the level one swan. Because now I might have to carry. But I, I think I have an idea of what I want to go with. And if I got five, I'm just going to... I know I got to quick expand because uh, there's a lot of uh, you buy upgrades I'll explain as we go along but it's it's a very it's a very mineral and gas intensive thing it's like Han and Horner but skip the mirror Han part and you're str going straight to the expensive Matt Horner units right oh yes we're also wearing the purple trunks this time out uh, our boy Tychus is deploying from Joy Ray's bar so we've got to wait 180 seconds for that to happen this purifier facility once converted warriors' personalities into AI, but it was shut down after complications with a Tal Darim prisoner. His AI has infected many of our systems, and I will need your assistance to purge them. Okay, that's going to be oh to the three-minute mark, or just just before the or just past the three-minute mark, mark for that. So we are going to get training up SEVs. Train this one, then we'll go back over here. So, to get Crooked Sam, we need a Gunslinger's Hideout. We need a Muscle Armory for Blaze. And we need a Fixer Safe House for Nux and Lena Nakara, who's our medic. So, I need three different... Three different structures. SCB ready. To build, we're gonna... Do the old classic of, uh... Grab a gas on 16. Or, I guess... Yeah, now 17. Yeah, whatever. Go we're gonna go double gas... It's really... You could probably get away with saturating your refineries, if I guessed. There's a expo there. No, oh, no, I don't, only want one of them, but I missed that one, so... So now, I want Lane and the car, which was in the Fixer Safe House. We're going to drop 150 minerals on that Fixer Safe House. Get some gas going. Get some more gas going. We're uh, rocking the purple trunks, I was starting to say. We're rocking the purple trunks. I just found that you can change your color and your ally color. So I got my ally in blue from the option screen. So we're doing a little bit of... Actually, you come back over here and you're going to build an eBay for our friend Takis. Then come back over here. Now, Joy Race Bar gives you 100 supply off the hop. So that's going to help you uh, just build up SCVs. All you're really using it for is SCVs and then mercenaries like Tychus and friends. And Tychus is about to pop any second now. What's in it for me? There he is. There's a boy. You can't fix, stupid. No, you can't. Now, all of them have their own. Oh, we can. Oh, we need some more minerals before we can recruit anyone else. Initial security terminal is clear. Fear not, there are several more. Don't provoke me. Okay, oh, and you're just going to hang out for a bit. Alright, that's good. So once we get to a thousand minerals, we can pop our next... We can pop our next uh, person, our, our next merc, but then we got to go four minutes between, or four StarCraft minutes anyway, between that and our next, uh, our next uh, outlaw. Also important to notice, you can't buy... These are all the upgrades for your various outlaws that you can recruit, but you can't use that until you've unlocked them from Joey Ray's bar. Yes, he is right, though. Let's get Lane in the car. They pop instantly. A man's gotta do it. Warning. I will set out for the next location shortly. Hey, we'll keep her safe. It's what we do. Let's get the, uh... Was it the fixers thing? We're okay, we're in good shape. So we're getting level. The transport is in motion. Word. Now what I'm gonna do is gonna get out front. I've got two abilities on here. Q is the shredder. All right. No, he's going that way. Activating laser drill. 174 gigawatts. Pretty. What's in it for me? Should have hotkey Joy Race Bar on here, so I had that. Security system rebuild. 
This will take a while. Upgrade complete. I'm a bad man. All right. Oh, what I could use is a medevac platform as well. Medevacs? The medevac platform. Hostile forces have been deployed to my position. Didn't hear no magic word. Okay, armchair general. You can't fix, stupid. I am under attack. Care to assist? I would, but I didn't know where they were coming from, so... So we're going to try and get some vision out here for our friend Swan so we can get his ex expo going. Well, let's go back this way. If they're sending Hellions, that's going to be... We're going to... Shredder... There's a Shredder Grenade. We can get upgrades for the Shredder Grenade. Uh, from... Oh, maybe I... What's the last one I have to build? The Gunslinger's Hideout. So let's build a Gunslinger's Hideout. We're not quite... Restoration efforts have reached the halfway point. Now, there we go. Lieutenant Nakara is a medic, so what she can. Oh, all right. Hey. So let's. The facility suppression towers used to protect us, but now this one will bring my efforts to a halt if you do not stop it. Uh, let's see. Against individual targets, there's Crooked Sam. We haven't tried. I don't think I've tried Crooked Sam yet. We're halted by tower strikes. Uh oh. That wasn't good. But the good news. Your friends under siege. Help them for God's sake. All right. So let's drop a CC there while we're waiting. This is just a transport. It has no shields to defend me from these strikes. All right. No, we're fine. My work here is nearly finished, if you can believe it. Now, I didn't realize there was a suppression tower was a thing. What is this one? Demolition charges. Tower destroyed. Good work. I will have to ask for more of it. Thank you later. Or blame you. Oh. Am I getting blamed for something? All right, that's fine. Now I'm just making sure you go mine after this. Well, looks like you need to help your allies too. Data secure. This security terminal is clear of corruption. Now there is a restorative burst from the car, so she can heal herself as well. We still have about two minutes left on that. So we can get some improved everything for everyone. Medivac pickup. We're fine with that for now. Uh, Tychus can get... Oh, uh, increased damage of the Shredder Grenade. It all, all upgrades instantly too, right? So if Nakara heal two targets at the same time, and then we can't afford anything else because that costs too damn much. The transport is nearly ready. But I don't think we need to worry too much about gas if we just focus on minerals from this point on. Upgrade outlaw weapons to two. Getting our base going. And both of those... Moving forward. Yeah, both of those, even though you can't... Oh, no, there's the orange line that takes it both there. Got some bad guys coming after our base. I'm not sure Nux was the, uh, Nux is the one with the, uh, no, Crooked Sam, sorry. Oh, Tychus needs some healing. Let's get that burst on. The Taldarim has been relentless. He has not yet gained access to this data core. So, there's a charge on the... the there it goes. That wasn't too bad. Under attack. Ask them to lose it slowly. Walk the walk. This is just a transport. It has no shields to defend me from these strikes. We, we are almost up a couple seconds left. Analyzing corrupted security data. Stand by. Ally under attack. If they die slowly, you can keep expanding. Oh, fresh pressure towers right here. That's handy. Let's get. Let's get nuts. System defenses have been activated against me. 
Oh yeah, we'll be fine. Our boy... Our boy Nux is slowly but surely showing up. And Nux has also has an AoE attack to him. Which will make it quite handy. When he shows up. And the suppression tower is going to work quite well when we show up with the uh, with these demolition charges. Demolition charges will do a number on it. There you go. Hey, I'm working my ass off here, Orana. Even if I'm falling behind on my on my macro. System takeover is halfway complete. And yes, I am doing my best. Detecting another suppression tower. The Tal Darim is brutal, but not clever. He has not discovered this data core yet, but we only have a little time remaining. Alright, so I just dropped Nux's area of effect. Go keep that ally alive. We'll thank you later. Or blame you. Okay, fine. There's Nux's suppression. Nux's suppression combined with the shredder with the uh with Tychus's with Tychus' uh, Shredder Grenades is actually really good at taking think, taking down groups of enemy basically instantly. Let's see. Uh, healing Rate. Increase. What else do we have? Uh, the damage of the Ultrasonic Pulse. That sounds good. Blaze isn't out yet. Oh. Tychus' Attacks. Decrease the armor of enemies. Yeah. Increase its damage. Demolition Charge. All right. And that's Purify 3, 5 security terminals, download AI uh, backup. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get that that one. So my partner's kind of just hanging out in the back. Now we're 45 seconds. This feels like the first one, only this guy's got a... Oh, he's going for the bonus. Eh, we should probably stay here. The data core has been corrupted. There were no backups for the personalities within. I must proceed to the next security terminal soon. Make your preparations. Great. I love babysitting. Or blame you. I'm a SCV ready. Proceeding. Big job, huh? In the rear with the gear. What's in it for me? You can't fix Oh, where's she, uh... Oh. She's not proceeding. Wouldn't expect you to go in that direction, but hey, what do I know? Drop a shredder in there. No, need some more minerals before we can recruit Blaze. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Now we've got a thousand minerals. Now we can get Blaze. Blaze is ready to fire up. So that is... Get the heal burst out for Nakara. She does tend to kind of find her way to the front there. But we are making good progress here. Mess of trouble is gonna land here on our base in a hot minute. Now, Blaze is a, Blaze is tanky at the very least. He might not be the best for going up against Terran. Ah, oh, well, that was. Beginning security data restoration. Considerable wait time ahead. All right, that's fine. Upgrade. Outlaw stuff. Let's see. Ultrasonic. Pulse. Eh, still need some more. The Tal Darim still thinks he can destroy me. Can you prove him wrong? I recommend taking out that suppression tower. Quickly. 
That's gonna be fine. That's not a problem. If they die slowly, you can keep punish the enemy attacking your base. See, I'm. T so there's the thing. So I'm taking care of. Allies' base is besieged. He's got it under control. I'm not worried. Everyone's out. Duration of ultrasonic pulse. Did I ever end up loading up? Uh, no, I didn't end up loading that one. We're a little short, hun. I'm a bad man. So they're all coming in from this side. I have regained control of 50% of our systems, but it hasn't been easy. There's the... I recommend taking out that suppression tower. Quickly. There's more suppression towers. Oh, we've lost Blaze. Oh. Interruption. Yes, well, I'm working as fast as I can. By myself. Here, do this, do that, do the other thing. Only 25% of the corruption remains. I'm waiting for that to blow. Yep, there it goes. The tower has ceased its fire. At least something is going right. There, our Reaper just jumped the, uh, just jumped down, so we're fine. This is just a transport. It has no shields to defend me from these strikes. Uh, let's see. I don't know what that did, but it looked, it said something about preventing damage, so it sounded important. Upgrade out outlaw armor. Poor Blaze has been ignored. Increase the impact of oil spill. Oh. Right, add detection. He's got cyclones out now, I like that. Everything has been fully reset here. We'll get everyone healed up nice and fast. Good work. I will have to ask for more of it. All right, and there we go. A double dip of shredders and etc. Waiting on. Oh, that's how you redeploy him, and then he just takes twenty-five seconds. That was that was my bad, not paying attention to how you redeploy uh, our friend Blaze. But we've been doing fine without him. How are we doing for upgrades? Do we have any more upgrades we can get? Sure, get that one. Get that that one. I don't even know what any of these upgrades are doing. I'm just pushing. On gas there. Almost there. Just one more. Deli there we go. Plotting a course to the final terminal. I will depart soon. What's in it for me? Okay, now let's see which way Orana goes. Don't move until she does. The whole, the whole gang's here. Everybody's fully upgraded. Now we're just going to blow everyone up very quick and lickety split. All of our purifier kin are being stored in this data core. Recover them if you can. We will. Don't worry. Demolition charge onto that. And demolition charge onto the other... Onto the other one. And a burst. And a restorative burst so we can heal take us up. Care to assist? Yeah, we got it under control here. Don't you worry, our friendly purifier friend. Well, I'm, I may have spoken a little too soon. So we're going to toss onto there, toss another E onto that one. And Blaze could just stay within range. Oh, hang on. that didn't work. I thought I pushed E there. Yeah, I did. Onto the, onto the hybrid. There. I don't know how my ally need, keeps needing all the help. Shredder grenade off to the left. 
All right, I think. Accessing security terminal and beginning data reset. A data core is in danger. Action advised. Hey, armchair general. The Taldarine still thinks he can destroy me. Can you prove him wrong? Oh, for f you got it under control. Another personality saved. I'm sure he's got it under control. I'm not too worried. Forces just took a big hit. We can only move in secrecy for a little longer. The Taldarim will find the data core soon. Enemy suppression tower activated. All right, there we go. The Taldarim destroyed our data core. He never possessed any honor, even in the flesh. There, now we gotta. Tower attacks have temporarily disabled my systems. Yeah, well, I'm trying to do the best I can with what little effort I have. It's the great thing about about team games such as it has no shields to defend me from these strikes. It's the great thing about team games though. Is it gives you all the opportunity in the world. Well, if you're attacking your base, start freaking out. Your ally is under attack. All right, so we've lost Tyke, we lost Tychus and or uh, Blaze and Nux, but that's all right because we've got Sam, Nakara, and uh, at least something is going right. Now we got to get down this way to take care of this. Another suppression tower. Base is under attack. I have regained control of fifty percent of our systems, but it hasn't been easy. I am unable to progress due to the tower's interruption. Yeah, well, I'm going. As fast as I can. Your ally is under Good work. I will have to ask for more of it. Alright, there. And we'll It took this long for me to use the medevac, but it just dump moves us from instantly from one point to another. Intervention is necessary. Moves us from one point to the next very quickly. Of the Taldarine's alterations. Hold fast. Now I need to get to this one. By tower strikes. And I'm heading this way. Whatever it would Ally under attack. If they die slowly, you can keep expanding. Meanwhile, I'm I'm doing the objective here. Has he upgraded his? Armor four, I don't know. At least something is going right. No no, there's an attack wave going this way. We're gonna have to come this way and cut off the attack wave. Which isn't a problem for us because we can just do that real fast. And that'll be purified in a couple seconds and we're good. Oh, I lost my uh my geyser. Well there we go. Analyzing system. No trace of the Taldarim personality remains. It appears he is truly dead at last. Fine work, commanders. Well, did you expect anything else dealing with the Taldarim? Alright, GG. Alright, there you go. War chest bonus from the uh, aforementioned IEM Kavitsa war chest. Uh, so Mel Warfare went reasonably well. We got level three, and so we unlocked the Odin. I could have gotten the Odin if I had level three. Odin is from the uh, Wings of Liberty campaign. Think of a uh, Thor, but um, like about ten times the size. It's pretty cool, actually. So that's uh, that's a little fun thing. Unfortunately, I, I'm not gonna get too much more chance to to try that because uh, well, unless I buy. Where's the, uh, okay, I don't have an option to buy Tychus from here. We'll just take a gander at it shortly. So resources gathered about even. Uh, I did kind of units produced. Well, I mean, how many units do I have to produce? I fell behind on my macro, admittedly, but I didn't have to worry about it too much because I upgraded everything. But nonetheless, there was the, um, there was the, what is it I'm trying to say? <laughs> Yeah, there's the SCVs and then and the Outlaws, and that's the only units I can produce, so that's the show. 
Resources. So, yeah. These two are... Oh, units and structures killed. I like that. That is interesting. Almost 25,000 uh, 25, points damage healed and prevented by Nakar. And then we did almost 13,000 points of damage with the demolition charges. And that was pretty handy because of those big towers. So that's, that's where you need that, right? All right. So uh, how much... Does it say how much? Tychus is 625 Canadian, which... Assuming a low exchange rate of about 25%, and, and that would be low... Uh, that would be about uh, five dollars American. So if you're if you're at all interested in that, but as a special treat for the Swan mission, what I'm thinking, let's do the mutation. What is this week's mutation? Well, it's a Violent Knight. Oh, that's the. I was gonna say. So it's a two out of four star mutation. No, that's just my. That's just my uh, difficulty. So bounty rewards are earnable once per week. Okay, whatever. So, we have gift exchange. Gifts are periodically deployed around the map. If you don't claim, aim on will. And naughty list, players, units, and structures take increased damage for each enemy they've killed. That might not be so good for the laser drill. Because we just saw the laser drill. Act. Oh, get rid of that mutation. And we've got a whole whack of, of things that we have. We can have uh, hell bats, presumably hellions, goliaths. Siege tanks, cyclones, which again, I, I like the cyclones our, our swan was using in the last mission. So, and there's also wraiths, which, yeah, Science vessels, now in SC2 science vessels, also have the ability to repair mechanical units. So they're like a medevac for mech, or a mechavac. No, that's a terrible joke. No, <laughs> it doesn't evac anything. No, evac, you've got the Hercules transport, and then you've got your turrets, the flaming Betty. Which I think is the Perdition turret from the Wings of Liberty campaign. The Blaster Billy. Which also attacks ground units. So I guess if you got Zerg, you want the flaming one. And if you got anything else, you want the gun one. So it's like an auto turret. And the Spinning Dizzy, which looks like a, a missile turret. And then we've got increased life for being at level 3. And we've got these Ares Warbot units. So, stun enemy ground units in the drop zone. Okay, we'll have to remember that. All right. No, we can do that. We can do this. How, how, uh, yeah, how bad can it be? Yeah, don't say things like that. So, we're going to, uh, see if anyone is here on a Sunday afternoon, right near the end of this mutation, to play a little bit of SC2 co-op <laughs> the, the Christmas mutation, basically. Silent Night, Violent Night, I do enjoy. A good pun. Yeah, I know, that shocks literally no one. Oh, there's custom at the top as well. I was thinking, uh, you know, I'll, I'll hold that thought for the start of the next mission, just so that way you guys are watching. In case you've skipped by the waiting part. Hell, I'm going to skip by the waiting part. I'll, I'll see you guys at the load screen. All right, we're with a Stukov. This is our second straight video, getting a Stukov. So Ivan is a level 9 Stukov. And we've got to uh, destroy shells, prevent shells from escape. Oh, so this is from the Heart of the Swarm campaign. Where they're, where, I guess in this case, Amon is going to deploy shells to three points on the map. And the idea is to blow them up before they get there. So this would be handy for, like, static defense. And, and with big ships coming in, that's probably good for the uh, laser drill as well. So I was thinking, is custom, I want to just take a peek at what is in the custom. And that way we can find out. Thank goodness you're here. Our research team has discovered that Amon is moving his troops across the sector via warp conduit. The conduits cannot be destroyed, but the shuttles can. They must be stopped before they reach the warp conduits and escape. Oops. BS there. Now I'm going to be, uh... The central warp conduit is now online. It won't be long before Amon's shuttles depart for it. I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong button. Jeez. In the rear with the gear. Your supply blocked. We've all been there. Yes, we have. By the way, I, uh, did I mention that the uh, What's going on? that the announcer uh, pack for today is Sean Day Nine Plot, who you might know from various esports endeavors. 
there's our expo. There we are. Yeah, I'm purple here, but I'm I'm green on the mini map because I figured it'd be easier to spot. But it does confuse me ever so slightly. Just one of those things that will trip you up a little bit. Can we VF? Yes, we can. 150, no gas. It, we did read that. But also, there are no um. Yeah, there's no barracks because all we've got are mech units. SCB ready. We'll get you over there. We'll get you over there. As soon as you drop off, we'll get you over there. And we'll get you over there. So we'll get a lot of people on gas. I know it seems like we even, like when you're going mech, the limiting factor, especially when that's all you can go is mech. I guess and starport as well. But your limiting factor is really just the um, is gas mostly more than anything. The big problem is gas. So, Big job, huh? get a second factory down. Am I spending a little too much on crap early game? Maybe. We're going to get the... Uh, yeah, we need a tech lab to go tank and cyclone, but Goliath and Hellbat can go on reactor tech. So we'll probably get two reactor... No, two, one reactor, two tech lab. And I think that might be a good way of starting. How are we doing? We're up. To 16. Oh, 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 oh. at the building, you're probably about to lift off. So let's just build a construction blocked. Oh no, wrong one. Uh, well, I want that eventually, just not straight away. Uh, build a supply. Put both these on five, and we can queue up a couple cyclones eventually. Build a depot. Probably two since you're supply blocked. There we go. That's gotten us going. And we'll try and focus on... Oh, yeah, maybe I want to... Drop an armory as well. And eventually... Drop ready. Oh. A temporary mutate. What's the temporary mutator? Amon's gift. Well, neither of us have gotten anything out yet. That's a problem. I don't know what the temporary mutator means, but optics online. Let's go kill something. SCB ready. Your ally seems to have failed to protect their base. They will not survive. Oh no, there. There we go. The uh, laser drills, that's still uh, still percolating. We're almost there. Now, laser drill, you can't upgrade. I mentioned that earlier. It seems our foes intend to attack us directly. Yes, well, that's good for them. I just want to get the... Uh... We'll get that going. And he's got some dudes over that way. Oh, there's my laser drill doing some work. We can. 200, 200, get an upgrade going. There you go. You didn't last too long. Oh. Can we tech lab? Infernal playing on Hellion's Hellbats. Goliath's anti-air. Cyclone lock-on range. There, let's go cyclone lock-on range. What's going on? I need you to drop a CC. That's what's going on. And your cyclone becomes an Avenger. What the hell? We've located your main objective. You must destroy the shuttles headed for the central conduit. Open into position. Oh, uh. Additional supply depots. Oh my God! Are you shitting me? Go ahead. In the rear with the gear. Fat news. You got a target in mind. Oh, I'll get there. And we'll put the these three on five, and then eventually, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
Is we're gonna get a starport going. <laughs> Let's get ships and weapons upgrades and all that fun crap. Enemy forces are moving towards our base. I wanna get Goliath, so yeah. Upgrade some Goliath shit. That, uh, factory's done yet, but... I will. A wave of shuttles has been shot down. Say goodnight. Amon has taken an interest in some nearby Zelnaga shrines. Our researchers will investigate, but they will need to be guarded. Our research vessel is ready. We're moving out now. What's going on? That doesn't sound good. A kill bot. SCV ready. Upgrade complete. Time for a timing push? Yeah. Optics online. Let's go kill something. Oh, I'll get there. All right, there we go. Now we're in business ish. All right. I'm um, out of minerals, but your workers are on it. Cyclone on. Another wave of shuttles is headed for a warp conduit. Yeah, and it's moving fast too. All right, let's go blow it up. All right, I'm hoping that There we go. Now we can cover. Let's go back and cover the shuttle's escape path. Well, our enemies approaching fast. Man, they look mad. You're out of gas. Do you have two in a geyser somewhere? No, I've got one in a geyser somewhere. Upgrade complete. Huh? Your, Your allies ally base is under besieged. attack. Let's go kill something. Channel's clear, boss. Adjusting for new coordinates. Your allies' base is under attack. Ask them to lose it slowly. Yeah, maybe that... Oh. No, oh, we're fine. He's fine. He's fine. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. What does this do? Concentrated beam. Deals far damage to enemy struct to enemy units and structures in a line across the map. Oh, Vespine Rain! We got it! Nice work! It's like chocolate rain, only not nearly as, um... Thank you for the escort, commanders. Take your mouth away from the, uh, from the mic to breathe in. Oh, just peachy. Got a wave of enemies gunning for us. Yeah, I mean, that reference would be a lot better. If you remember. Oh my goodness! Let's see what this concentrated beam does. I don't know why my ally is pushing in here besides to tank my frame rate. I think I lost my giant cyclone though. Your ally is under attack. Your ally is under attack. Yeah, good for him. Uh, what I want is my... Oh, we can't, uh... Can't upgrade that yet. We'll put this on six. I say, I don't know why my ally's here, but screw it. Let's just join in the party. This is what we did. Your ally is under attack. I mean, I know he's playing Stukov and he's doing the Stukov thing, but okay, at a certain point... Warp conduit has been activated. A wave of shuttles is headed toward it. My god, look at how much the map he's got covered in creep spread! Like, sweet merciful. Channel's clear, Your ally is under attack. Ally under attack. Alright, so wait, it's... Uh, what is, what is ping? You can keep expanding. Okay, he's got tanks out. That's great. And then go there. Roger. Oh, there we go. 
There's me not paying attention. But I'm, uh... Now that I'm hearing SCV ready. Oh, a Zelnaga Temple. There we go. That we needed to do at some point anyway. There's our upgraded lace drill up to 40 kills. There he goes. Everything is free for 10 seconds. Got some bad guys coming after our base. We're just going to spam everything. And tech lab. Well, that was a fun 10 seconds of spending literally everything. Moving into position. Nothing Your ally is under attack. Concentrated beam ready. What's going on? Roger. Your ally is under attack. I'm going. Additional supply. Objects online. Let's go kill something. Preparing a research vessel. Let's make this one count. Our base is under attack. How'd this happen? Okay, Ares bots down. Okay, well, the Ares bots came in and helped. How many of those damn depots have we got going down? We've got all the depots going down. Let's get a science vessel going. We share your structure for a time, yes? Cyclone. Your ally is under attack. Uh oh, we've got two launches of... It appears that two warp conduits are active. Multiple waves of shuttles are in transit. Gift, your naughty list has been cleared. Okay, that's good gift. Oh, <laughs> I'm taking this. I'm taking this tank with it, with me. Your ally is under attack. He's got a bunch of stuff over that way, so I'm gonna come over this way. That ally alive. They'll thank you later, or blame you. All right, so we're gonna take the drill and we're just gonna aim and stealing the gift. Damn him! Damn him to hell. You have prevented the shuttle's escape. Shrink wave. No, oh, there's some like dudes. Purple and blue might not purple and blue might not be the greatest idea when you're playing with the Zerg. Scans are finished. Science owes you a great debt, commanders. Told you we got this. So there we go. Uh let's get another uh, another uh, science vessel out. More vessels. Cue that up. If they die slowly, you can keep expanding. I love Day Nine giving out the snark about allies dying. Does have its strength, you know. Does he want some help up here, or is he just having fun? I I don't even know where I'm going. Like, no, I can't go here. Now go this way, because I can't... My frame rate can't handle that shit. We're detecting your main objective. A wave of shuttles inbound on an active conduit. It will not get past us. Apocalisk. So let's just take down aim on shuttle here. As best we can. At, like... No frames per second. Control Alt F, right? 18 frames a second. 19 frames a second. Stukov is not good for my frame rate. Combat drop. Ally Ready under attack. Deployment. If they die slowly, you can keep expanding. So we'll put up more of those. We'll ask for another one of those. We're good. Enemies coming for our base. Thought you might want to know. So we'll take out we'll, Amon's gifts hidden threats. What the hell does that mean? Uh, I got a detectors. I'm fine. The shuttles have been destroyed. 
It reminds me of duck hunting back on Earth. Ally under attack. Double if they die slowly, you can keep Double the power, yes? Cyclone ready for action. Research vessel ready. Let's get a team to that shrine. Which shrine? That shrine. Let's roll. I'm on my way. Might want some static defense here. Yeah. Camp ally under attack. If they die slowly, you can keep expanding. Your friends under siege. Help them for God's sake. So no, not VB. Uh, I want regular turrets. The entire party is just moving out this way. To... Whoops! You forgot to build more depots. I fine. Am I finally supplied out? Uh oh! There goes the science vessel. Enemy contact. Your ally is under attack. A wave of shuttles is making its way to an active warp conduit. Yeah, well, I can kill two birds with one stone, as it were. Where's the gift? There. Let's get another, uh, another supply, uh, another science vessel going. All right, I could get the supply depots down. You'd think I turned before, but you'd be wrong. Almost there. Almost there. Goliath becomes an Avenger. We have an enemy attack inbound. Ah, screw it. I'll take care of both. Sir. The enemy attack and the... And the shuttles at the same time. Oh, is that the enemy attack? Oh. Well, looks like you need to help your allies too. Go keep that ally alive. They'll thank you later. Or blame you. You, you got it? He's got it. I'm not we worried. There's my, uh... Shuttles are no more. There's my hyped up, uh... Goliath there. It's just running around like a chicken with its head cut off. So, there. If we could get it in range, we'll get the, the laser on it. There. Just like that. Scan complete. Thank you for your help. They would have been lost without you. Now that's how you do it! Cyclone. Your ally is under attack. How am I doing for supply? This is only temporary. Ally I call attack. this if they die the slowly, apocalypse. You can keep expanding. Seed in action. Yep. Ally under attack. If they die slowly, you can keep expanding. All right. Amon thinks that just a simple hybrid is going to stop this army of death. Yeah, another one of these. Oh, they're going. Oh, they're going everywhere. We'll be able to take care of this pretty quick. Oh, there. We aren't even gonna get, let the first one get out of the out of the locks. Has activated all three warp conduits. Hurry, commanders. Yeah, we'll take out this first group here. Oh my goodness, the state of frame rate is actually did actually dip down to single digits there for a second. And we're going to take care of these guys before they even get out of the blocks. Looks like you need to help your allies too. Now my allies are going to be fine. Don't worry about them. Enemies approaching fast. Man, they look mad. Oh, never mind. We've got the uh, concentrate beam of death going this way. Let's see, meanwhile, the infested Terrans are running off this direction. Oh, is that it? That was the game? I'm too busy paying attention. A well-deserved victory. The shuttles have been eliminated. <laughs> GG. I was too busy paying attention to everything but the uh, objectives in the top right. I'm just killing everything, running around giant goliaths and the like. So, yeah, there we go. GG. All right, there we go. Oh, casual 50 achievement awarded. Don't know what that means, but it sounds handy. So yeah, now we got Swan up to level 4, which means we got uh, the Pulse Cannon on the Dragon Laser Drill. And next time up, we got a Vespine Harvester. 
unlocks the ability for commanders to call down automated harvesters that gather extra Vespine from your refineries or your allies' Vespine gathering structures. Very handy for spawn. We should take a look at the stats. Uh, our Stukov friend, <laughs> well, of course he's produced more stuff. Yeah, I got a little more damage dealt to shuttles, but that's probably because of the drill. Uh, entirely because of the drill. Damage dealt by the laser drill. Of course I led on that one because I'm the one with the drill. So, uh, and uh, he receiving heal from science vessels I they, to they were touring around with my army. So, yeah, no, that was okay. Pretty, uh, I I'd say, I'd say pretty evenly held. Uh, he did go in and push and crush, try crushing all the enemy spaces there. That too, it was kind of fun. So, not something I would have done because my frame rate couldn't handle all the stew coffee madness of... 1500 units produced. I gotta try him out at some point. Not today, though, but that was, uh, that was a little fun with Swan and the mutation as well. But that's, uh, that's four out of the, what are we at? Uh, that's what, nine on the top row and seven on the bottom row? So we're a quarter of the way through all of the various muta- uh, not mutations, uh, co-op commanders. And I also said I was gonna Look at custom. I have no idea what that... Like, give me custom mutators. Okay. Running several mutators simultaneously can negatively impact the game's performance based on your system specifications. So you can pick your mission and your difficulty and... I don't see where you pick the custom mutation on it, mind, but... So if I pick, um... Minor evacuation. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, there's got to be a trick to this I'm missing, but I'll figure it out at another point in time. I was going to say if anybody wants to do this, wants to try co-oping on, on a video or something, I can always set up a uh, Blizzard or Battle.net group or something. I already have the uh, Steam group, which you can find in the description down below. We don't have anything over on Battle.net. We also got Discord as well, I suppose. So there's lots of different options there. Slot to install Discord on my computer. I got it on my phone, not my computer. Anyway, that is it for this go round of co op in StarCraft 2. Next time out, let's go with a little bit of Zerg. I don't think any of the Zerg, with the, ex for, with the exception of Stukov, I don't think any of the Zerg have shown up in uh, SE1 yet. Well, like Kerrigan. Or I guess they aren't going to show up in SE1 because you got. Karen, you got Zagar, Zagara. There, there you go. I played her nothing hots. You'd think I'd her Heroes of the Storm hots. And then you've got Abathur and Dehaka. So we are going to give those all a try in coming episodes of StarCraft II Co-op. But until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is unsilent on air. And that's for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, you can check out more StarCraft and StarCraft 2 in the playlist there on the screen in the description down below and more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.